welcome back. I'm Callie Brantsport if you're new here and my kitchen currently looks like a bomb went off because I was in the middle of putting groceries away and we all know what a kitchen looks like when you're putting groceries away. There's just stuff everywhere and we hit nap time. And you know what I mean when I say we hit nap time, it meant like time to get the toddler to bed. So I paused everything, I put him to bed, I'm gonna make my nap time coffee really quick and then you and I are gonna sit down and talk about organizational tricks for small houses. I'm gonna share my favorite hacks with you. Okay, I got my coffee. Let's talk about some of these tricks I have for organizing small homes. I think that sometimes we think we need more space than we actually do to store things. Instead, if you use some little tricks or hacks or like smart solutions, you actually don't always need as much space as you think you do. Okay, so my first tip is that everything needs to have a place. This tip is like great for all houses, but especially small houses, because one of the pros about small houses is they start to look cluttered really quick, which you might be like, Callie, isn't that a con? But I would argue that it is not, because when something starts to look cluttered quick, you don't let it accumulate. So you tend to be tidying and organizing more often because things just look cluttered quicker. Okay, but the key to doing this is you just need to to make sure that everything in your house has a place. Clutter will typically accumulate when things don't have a home. So maybe you have like an ongoing project that you're working on or something new that you purchased that hasn't been put away or just like random odds and ends that don't really have anywhere they belong. A way to make this really easy, I just purchased something that has changed my life and that is a label maker. Hallelujah! Oh my god, why did I not get one of these sooner? But they are so smart. So not only does everything have a place, but then you can label where that place is. So it's super easy when you're putting stuff away because you can't remember in your mind where every single thing needs to go. Like you already have to remember like what's for dinner tonight and what do I need to get at the store and what time am I supposed to pick up my kid and like when is my anniversary? You don't need to remember where every single thing in your house goes. So label making is great for that. Also really good if you have guests come to visit and you know like husbands because you've lived here as long as me but I don't know how you still don't know where things go. Now everyone knows. I got mine for I think less than $20. I will link some down below. It is going to change your organizational game. Okay, but the point is that every single thing in your house gets a dedicated spot that it belongs and you know where that spot is. Now in small houses, maybe finding spots for all of those things is where it gets a little tricky. So let's dive in to some options for that. Okay, for this next tip, we are in my extra bathroom, which is a hard room to film in because it doesn't get super great naturally. And I just also realized that that mirror needs to get cleaned. Anyways, we're in here because my next tip is all about making use of like all available space. And my first example of that is ceiling height storage. The ceilings in this bathroom are probably about eight feet high, which is plenty high enough. So there was lots of extra space. This room also has absolutely no storage. There's no linen closet. There's no bathroom closet in here. So I just added a shelf that goes right along the top of the ceiling. It's maybe a foot and a half from the ceiling and it adds instant storage in a space that previously had none. We just kind of looked around and said, where can we make use of storage? So it's all about being smart, thinking out of the box and finding clever places where you can store things. Let me show you another example. Hello and welcome to inside the stairwell that leads down to my basement. Not a space that we often think of, but this door is right off of my kitchen, which is right off the back door where we come inside and our house does not have a coat closet, does not have anywhere to hang up your coats, which means you wanna know what? Coats end up on the floor, on the sofa, strewn over chairs. I don't know, you find a place to put it. And I was like, I need to solve this problem. And I had this whole wall right inside the stairwell. So I started thinking and then I was like, aha, I have this space, an empty wall that is not being used. I hung up a coat rack and now I have a spot for all of my coats to go. They can go right behind the door. I can close it. They're out of sight, out of mind. It was just an unused space that I hadn't thought about using. And look at that. Here's actually another example. I have a little over the door wreath hanger that I got from the Dollar Tree that I have hanging on the inside of this door as well. And I use it to store like little grocery bags for when we go to the grocery store, like reusable bags. So I have another example for you. Okay, so another place that's really great to make use of is storing things underneath your bed. In this case, we're in my son's room underneath his crib. Now, the only thing that used to happen underneath this bed is like maybe toys would roll under there and we would forget about them for a long time until they were found again. So not, why not make use of that space? I just got a little um, Tupperware. These are like the under the bed Tupperwares that you can get. I like the ones that latch closed. 
And now under here, I can store all of my extra bedding and sheets, which before I had no place to put. And I was trying to store them like in my basement. It was a hot mess. I just made use of unused space and now I have a spot for them in my house. And you don't even have to get like special under the bed storage for these. And his last nursery, I was just using like extra storage bins that I have. So you don't even need to buy something special to make use of this space. Okay, so my next tip is when you are in the bathroom. Now this isn't really an option for renters, but if you have the ability, opt for a mirror that is also a medicine cabinet. Again, it's all about having a little bit of extra space wherever you can, especially in a bathroom. It is so great to have those items that you use every single day right at a hand's reach, and then the rest of the stuff can go away in closets or in storage where you don't need it all the time. Such a simple little thing, but makes a huge difference with small bathroom organization. Okay, another tip that I have kind of goes off the first one of everything needing to have a place, but that is to get in the habit of trying to put things away as you use them. Obviously, this is not something we can always achieve. Like, I feel like sometimes as I'm putting things away, my toddler and husband are taking out two things. So like I'm putting away one, four things are coming out. It is really easy for clutter to build up and really valuable storage and organizational space can get taken up by clutter that you don't actually need. As I'm putting laundry away, if I see anything that I don't wear anymore or I don't use anymore or I'm not gonna use until next season, it either goes into a bin to get donated to the Goodwill or it goes down in the seasonal bin in our attic. As I'm putting my dishes away, if I see like some kitchen gadget that I'm no longer using, it goes in a bin to get donated or whatever. As my son is playing with his toys, if I see toys that are no longer being used, I grab them, I put them in storage. And my favorite tip for just kind of staying on top of this is try to use a one thing in, one thing out mentality. A lot of people do this for their closets. So like anytime I buy a sweater, it means another sweater needs to leave my collection and get donated or like sent to a friend. But you can use this with all sorts of things in your house. It's just like a little thing to check in your mind. Every time something comes in, you wanna send something back out and it just helps keep things from building up and clutter accumulating because clutter is the downfall of every small house. All right, my friends, I hope that some of these tips were useful and at least inspired you or gave you some little nuggets of wisdom of some different ways that you can organize or make use of space in your house. Um, obviously, like I am no organizational queen because there's, you saw my kitchen, but it's just about having like some general habits and routines that I do to keep things organized and then being smart about the space that I use. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.